Throughout the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, APA has been investing a lot of time and technology to help reduce the risk of viral infection through the HVAC system. If you've been watching the news, social distancing, mask wearing, and increased filtration and ventilation are all ways to prevent the spread. And maybe you've heard about the application of UV lights as well. The GLOW Upper Air Unit is a way to bring the infection fighting power of UV light into an occupied space whether or not that space is served by a central AC system. In this video, we're gonna cover what UVC energy is, how it's applied in a germicidal system, how upper air UV treatment works, and how to use it and operate it safely. UVC stands for ultraviolet C. This is a light form with a wavelength between 200 and 280 nanometers. This unique wavelength of light is naturally created by the sun, but is absorbed by the ozone layer before entering the atmosphere. Short wavelengths of ultraviolet light like UVC can be used for germicidal purposes. When UVC is used as a germicide, the application becomes a UVGI system, which stands for ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. UVC functions as a germicide by destroying nucleic acids and disrupting the DNA of microorganisms leaving them incapable to reproduce. Without the ability to reproduce, a virus is no longer transmissible. Upper air UVC fixtures like the GLOW work by placing the unit in the upper level of an occupied space, no lower than seven feet high and a foot or two below ceiling level. The GLOW emits a beam of UVC into the occupied space. The beam is near the ceiling where it can't reach the occupants and the baffles keep stray light from wandering downward and exposing the occupants. This beam of UVC disinfects the airstream that passes through it during the natural convection process, or by using the air distribution system. The glow can be positioned adjacent to the return grill, which ensures that the air being distributed through the supplied diffuser is disinfected by UVC. The glow fixture is available in three sizes to best suit the demands and the size of the UVC upper air systems were originally applied in classrooms in the 1940s to reduce the spread of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a bacteria that's notoriously difficult to kill and requires longer exposure times to UVC light to be inactivated or killed than coronaviruses. There's empirical data of UVC inactivating coronaviruses that can be used to determine the estimated dose of UVC required to kill COVID-19. The unit is designed to keep building occupants from being exposed because UVC can have harmful effects on occupants if exposed directly. The unit baffles ensure that light is only directed outward where it can neutralize viruses and bacteria in the air, never downward where it can harm occupants. After it is installed, it is recommended to keep skin and eyes away from the glow unit if it is on and to turn off the glow before servicing it. Following these guidelines will ensure that the building occupants in the space are safe. After installing the glow fixture per the installation manual, maintenance is as simple as periodically replacing the bulb and clearing any accumulated dust. To replace the bulb, simply remove the four screws holding the baffles to the fixture, then remove the baffles to gain access to remove and replace the bulb. We appreciate you taking the time to learn more about upper air UV treatment and the UV resources closed system. If you have any questions, our team is ready to help. Please reach out to us through APAV.com. Again, a big thank you from all of us at APA and please stay healthy and stay safe.